Christmas. We are told that an angel appeared to a virgin woman, Mary, and said she would miraculously conceive and give birth to a son. The child would be called Jesus, the King of Kings. Well, it was decided by Pope Julius that his birth would be celebrated on December 25th, placing it right in line with the winter solstice intentionally to claim it. This son, Jesus, would be the light and savior of the world. The son of God, the light of the world, the risen savior, he who will come again. Yule. Yule, a 12-day celebration in Old Norse, sounds just like Yule in Swedish, which means wheel. The wheel marks the changing seasons, the course of the sun and the cycle of life. The sun cross or sun wheel is an ancient European symbol. That's why burning a giant sun wheel is a Yule tradition, one to start doing again. The female aspect of Christmas is important. Mary gives birth to a son. In the Nordic story of Yule, the highest goddess, Frigg, the wife of Odin, is associated with fertility, marriage, household, and motherhood. Frigg has her own palace, where she sits spinning clouds to float above Midgard, the human world. She spins the wheel of life, bringing in the new sun, the change in season. The Yule wreath is a symbol adapted from Frigg's spinning wheel. She is also the mother of Baldr, the god of light, truth, and peace. He was considered the most favored and best of the gods. Baldr has visions of his death and is pierced with a spear of mistletoe like the mistletoe we incorporate during Yule. His mother Frigg weeps over his body, and some think her tears became the white berries on the European mistletoe. Our pre-Christian ancestors venerated both male and female deities and applied them to cycles of nature. Although Christians decided to give Mary a virginal conception, Yule openly celebrates fertility. What are the Yule or Christmas colors? Red. Red represents blood from a woman, menstrual or from birth. Green represents growth or nature. Gold represents the sun, the life giver. And white represents snow, but also semen. The Yule log, the mistletoe, the feast, the lights, gifts, and decorating the tree are all pre-Christmas traditions containing sacred symbology behind it. In those days, plants and trees that remained green all year seemed magical for Europeans in the winter, such as evergreen, pine, spruce, holly, mistletoe, and ivy, the plants we associate with Christmas today. Every nine years, Vikings had a sacred sacrifice to the gods called blut, which means sacrifice, worship. Many gathered from around to offer their gifts to the gods in exchange for blessings and fertility, sustenance, and protection. After sacrificially taking the life of an animal, they would be hung from holy trees in a sacred grove. The blood would drip from the trees. You know the red Yule ball ornaments you hang from the tree? They are symbolic of the drops of blood or pieces of flesh given to the gods. But what about Santa or Saint Nick? On the night of Yule, the bearded Odin leads a great hunting party riding his fierce eight-legged horse named Sleipner, He leads a band of horsemen and hounds in a hunt through the night sky. On that night, children usually placed boots filled with hay outside their doors to feed Sleipner. Odin would leave a gift in return. That's why we hang stockings on the mantle. Some countries still fill the socks with hay. And in Norse myth, the gods like gifts, hence the cookie and milk for Santa. Reindeer come from Northern Europe. How many reindeer pull Santa's sleigh? Eights. Eight being the eight legs of Odin's horse. Rudolph was not added until 1939 by a Jewish man. For some, this changed the lineup to nine reindeer. While nine is still an important number in Norse myth, there are nine worlds. Odin hung for nine days. Thor takes nine steps before falling to the ground, killing a serpent. Nine fertility feasts every nine years, and there's others. Thor, the god of thunder and lightning, rode a chariot pulled by two goats. Two of Santa's reindeer are named Donner and Blitzen. Donner means thunder in German. Blitzen means lightning in English. This is a reference to Thor and his goats. Santa is Odin, a magical god and a wise shaman. Kids today leave a cookie for Santa, no different than Vikings leaving a gift to their gods. Of course, to the church, this wise ancestor we call Santa is Satan. Elves, like Santa's helpers, are very much from Germanic Norse myth. 
One of the nine worlds is called Alfheim, the home of light elves. They aren't gods, but they possess magical powers and skills. The winter solstice, the rebirth of the sun. Well, so did ancient Europeans. We had deities for all things in nature. The sun is the savior of the world, especially when you live in the cold north. But the deities that arose from the collective psyche of our European ancestors are also communicating the inner cycle of birth, death, and resurrection.